What are the names of the other spies? Fuck. And you. <coughs> we have ways of making you talk. Ahmed. We know an awful lot about you, Agent Michael Holby. It says here, you are a huge fan of Breaking Bad. Yeah. You've been halfway across the world for quite some time now. Aren't you missing the final <coughs> eight episodes? I DVR'd them. <coughs> I see. Tell me, why is it that you love Breaking Bad? It's always upending expectations. I don't know what's going to happen moment to moment, let alone episode to episode. It's one of the greatest fictional journeys I've ever gone on. So, it would be a real shame if someone were to deprive you of that journey. Someone who watched the final eight episodes. What is this? I'm just saying it would be very, very unfortunate to have followed the whole show so closely. To have emotionally invested for so many years. Only to find out that at the end of the first episode of the final eight, Hank and Walt have a pretty violent confrontation. Ah! Oh, crazy. You'd think they saved that confrontation for at least the Please. middle of the season, but nope. It's like, what could possibly come next, huh? Well, I will tell you. Stop! Walt, confession <laughs> video. Incredible. Wasn't it, Ahmed? Walt claims an elaborate lie about how Hank was the one running a secret meth business and forcing Walt to be his cat. No, 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 no. So, anyway, Jesse starts working with Hank to catch Walt. Hank and Jesse trick Walt into leading them right to where he has his money buried in the desert. That's a great plot, boy. That's a great plot. <laughs> you know what? I, I can't ruin it through talking about it. The language is so beautiful. Why, why don't I let it speak for itself? Ahmed! Interior. Walt's car. Day. Walt stays on the phone with Jesse as his car careens through daylight traffic. Walter. No, 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 no. Jesse, please, listen to me. Jesse, no, you listen to me, bitch. You get your ass out here as fast as you can. Walter, yes, I'm coming, okay, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> David Anderson, Lee Jennings, and Ronald Goldberger. That's all I know. Oh, I think you know a lot more. And so do I. Hank and Jesse no! meet Walt where the money is buried. But unbeknownst to them, the assassins Walt hired to kill Jesse are on their way there, too. That's absurd. Walt loves Jesse like a son. Why would he want to kill because him? Because the Jesse he knew is dead. He's unpredictable and dangerous. No, he's not. He's just deeply wounded. Walt knows this. At his core, Walt's a good man. You fool. Don't you see? Walter has devolved into a megalomaniac. He cares for no one but himself. Hank dies. And last, but certainly not least, what happens to one of the greatest, most complex characters in television history, Walter White? <laughs> You're right, Ronald Goldberger works for the Israeli Embassy, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. He's currently working for the CIA, and he's currently in Tehran. Thank you, Agent Ruffy. Your cooperation is much appreciated. And to reward you, I will show you the final episode of Breaking Bad, so that you may enjoy it in peace. Oh, rats, I forgot to renew my Netflix subscription. It doesn't matter, though. We can watch the talking bad finale. That'll be comparable, right? 
Hearing the finale of one of TV's all-time greatest shows from quirky comedy nerd god Please. Chris Hardwick. Because I told you everything. What more do you want? I want to watch you suffer. <sighs> now, which ad experience would you prefer? Biker? Dancer? Being a kid? That's why you should We're here to take you home. Yeah. Looks like we got here just in time, huh? Kind of reminds me of that, uh, that <laughs> final shot of Breaking Bad. You know, when Walt's lying dead on the floor of the meth lab and all that blood spilling out of his stomach after that fight with the Nazis and he freed Jesse. Got a lot of money to his family. Man, that is a good show. That was... I feel like, you know, like we were lucky to be alive when that show was happening. I mean, like, special shows don't really come on that often. I don't know if we'll ever see one like that again. <laughs>